It is a trapezoid shape, so it only goes on one way, and you don't want to bend any of the pins inside your scan tool. So we'll look under here. We'll find that connector, make sure the shapes line up, plug it in, and we're ready to go. Now that we've got our OBD2 scanner connected to the OBD2 port, and it's powered up itself through the power that comes out of the OBD2 port, we still need to turn the ignition on. Now for this demonstration, I want to start this car because it's got a little door dinger. I've got the doors open, so a camera over my shoulder so you could see what's going on on my screen as well. But I, I need to start this vehicle up, and this way I can show you some of these features in here. And once we've got the vehicle started, or the key is on, hopefully in your case, um, you can see here that we've got a few functions on this tool. There's one that says diagnose here. I want to show you what this does first, and we'll kind of go through a couple of these settings on here and these features that I think are important to you that might be important and helpful uh, in your future here if you're using this tool. 